Ah, welcome back. We are finally getting into the more interesting stuff for the 12 Days of Christmas. Welcome to Day 11 yesterday, everybody. Ugh, my mind just went blank there. So you guys want to get entered in to today's contest. All you gotta do is like, comment on the video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Now, you're probably like, what are we, what, what? What are we going for today? So Gem Playmats has an extra large bag. If you guys have been paying attention to the book bags and things that they've been producing out there, well, you're going to get the chance to get something that Jim has been working on actually for a little while. And I know a lot of players are like, oh, oh, really? And tomorrow will also be a one out of one pro tech for those of you that are excited for day 12 as well. So if you guys want to get in, Check out Gem Playments down below. I strictly recommend doing so. And well, let's dig on into day 11, shall we? Mega Lilith monsters are what my grandmother gives to my mother for Christmas. And they're literally just sitting on the table staring into my soul. So, on the 11th day of Christmas, we got some stupid statues at a garage sale I'm now forced to look at every single day of my life. Yu-Gi-Oh! So, we're going to be looking at a Mega Lilith Shino Bird deck list that was used last month in the Zodiac Tournament. And I've been saving this for a special occasion. Um, 60 card variant, by the way. You have to understand that uh, all of these guys get to be ritual summoned with any Mega Lilith card. They all literally fuel into each other. And that is why this deck is actually pretty alright for really competitive play. So, do understand before you're like, what is this bad brick? It is a brick. Trust me on that. But I've, I've watched this deck literally ruin people's day for what it is. So, we have triple copies of Phantasmia Boy because sculpting out those really bad incantations out of your hand or sculpting, sculpting, seeing multiple manjus and things. <laughs> this card does work. I have two copies of the bookstore. Literally, recursion. Our searcher, our other recursion, and then our other searcher. That's literally all that there is to that. And then we have triple copies of Manju of 10,000 hands. Then we have triple copies of Senju of the 1,000 hands. He's only powerful enough to add a ritual monster. And then we have the triple copies of of the Chalice Slime. Now this is where things kind of start pouring in to the more interesting department. So the incantations themselves you need to be able to resolve because all of the Mega Lilis unfortunately don't really have much of a reward system for regenerating your card advantage. You're basically pouring in this resource pool into these cards and kind of hoping that you get rewarded for it um, by producing monsters on the field your opponent's going to have a hard time, you know, outing. And that's kind of the thing we've always had with rituals is we don't have a way to ritual summon from the deck yet. I don't know why they've been holding back on that for the last 20 years. Just make every ritual, you know, be able to ritual summon using things in the deck. ARA was a good card for a reason. We can get there. But we have to rely on Chalice Slime here to be able to get us some more advantage and make life a little bit better so that we're able to, you know, use our self-fulfilling ritual cards. Now, let's get into the Mega Lils. So, Mr. Araton. So you can ritual summon this card with any Mega Lilith card. During your main phase quick effect, you can discard this card to ritual summon one Mega Lilith ritual monster from your hand by tributing from your hand or field whose total stars equal or exceed the level. It's very important to note. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards, you control quick effect place one ritual monster from your graveyard on the bottom of your deck and if you do negate that activation if you destroy that card literally all of them can ritual summon each other by the way I just wanted to point that back out once again this is a 2,000-3,000 body with a built in negation effect that's pretty good and then we get into the bad level 4s here so you can ritual summon this card with any Mega Lilith card if this card is ritual summoned you can add one Mega Lilith spell or trap card your deck to your hand. As you see, we have four of them available to us. Three and one. And then, during your main phase, you can ritual summon one ritual monster from your hand by tributing monsters from your hand or field, including 
this card you control and exceeding or matching that total level requirement for this. So this is a searcher, and yes, this does grant the ability to ritual summon in addition to, you know, the other things. And we're going to skip on over here to offer, yeah. So this is also the other level four. This is 1600. By the way, they're all rock. So Afiel, you can ritual summon this card with any Megalith card. If this card is ritual summon, you can add one Megalith monster deck to your hand. Let's talk about... We have all of these targets available to us, okay? And then during your main phase, you can Ritual Summon one Ritual Monster from your hand by attributing monsters from your hand or field, including this card. So this does, you do have to ramp in to the other monsters. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to toggle on back here. So we have the one copy of Bethor. So you can Ritual Summon this card with any Megalith card. And you can discard this card to Ritual Summon one Megalith Monster from your hand attributing monsters from your hand or whose level exceed its level. If this card is ritual, summon target cards your opponent controls up to the number of rituals in your graveyard with different names and destroy them. I actually am saddened by this card because I wish we could actually have done on the field too. We would have had value, but Bethor doesn't really grant a lot of advantage to the deck. And actually, it's the thing that saddens me most about this is this card had a lot of potential, and it's just... Yeah. I mean, hey, you can ritual summon during the opponent's turn with some of these quite possibly. Uh, we have triple copies of Ock. So you can ritual summon this card with any Megalo card. If this card is ritual summon, you draw one card and then discard a card. Should have been draw one, it's a ritual archetype, but okay. And during the main phase, quick effect, you can ritual summon one monster from your hand by tributing from your hand, including and not, basically just exceeding the level. And that's all I'm going to say for this. But hey, we can ritual summon our Disruptor. It's pretty good. And then we have the Falag. So it's level 8. Ritual Summon this guy with any of them. Uh, you can discard this card to Ritual Summon. Okay. And then all monsters that your opponent controls, or all monsters you control, gain 300 attack and defense for each Ritual monster in your graveyard. So also it doesn't have to be different names. So if you just kind of load up on these, you, you get a relatively big fatty, uh, which is pretty cool. So that's the Mega Lilith engine. Then we have the triple copies of Peacock. So the beautiful thing about this is we're, we're trying to establish a nice swell flow with these. So, Ritual Summon this guy with the Shino Bird's Calling. And then, if this Ritual Summon card, you return up the three monster opponent controls to the hand, and then you swap summon one level four lower spirit monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. We're never going to really do that. And then during the end phase, if this card swaps summon this turn, return it to the hand, and then swap summon two Shino Bird tokens. So you get two floaters. And then Peacock, Ritual Summon with the Calling, of course. This will let you shuffle up to three spells and traps, and then during the end phase you get the two tokens, and you get this back to your hand for the next turn. We also have the built-in cheese double or nothing OTK, um, because we can do that, by the way. Then we have one copy of Incantation Inception. Then we have triple copies of Megalith Portal. So the first time each ritual summoned monster would be destroyed by battle each turn, it is not. If a Megalith monster monsters is special summon, you target one ritual in your graveyard, and it's your hand. It has to be a ritual monster. So you, they did give you at least a regeneration engine. And then we have triple desires and triple extra for draw power. Triple pre-prep, of course. Triple preparation rights. And then triple Shino Bird calling. And then we have the one copy of the Megalith Immersion. So you can target one Megalith monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense mode. But place it on the bottom deck when it leaves the field. Hmm, so I just get back my free rituals that I worked so hard to make. Extra deck, we have the one copy of the Neptifist, the Sacred Flame, one Link Male Archfiend, one Unicorn, and triple copies of Cloth Eve. So this does grant us the draw two, discard two off of this if we do have to make this, um, which is actually pretty good. We have one Math Mech to do all the searching for level fours. Then we have one Utopia Double, one Baguski, one Utopia Double, and one Utopia. One granite, because being able to search for any rock monster we want is really cool. I love how that just has index energy. We have one Exiton Knight, one Digostor Emerald, and one Castell. Side deck here we have triple Denka Reka, triple Nibiru, one Brionic, one Trishula, and one Necroz Mirror. Ooh, that's techie. Then we have triple Twin Twister and triple copies of Imperial Iron Wall, wrapping up the 11th day of Christmas. So beautiful. If you guys want to get entered into today's contest, all you got to do down below is comment, make sure that you like the video, and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. It's easy as pie, and you guys won't miss anything that I'm working on producing.
for this channel. And I hope that that means something to you guys. All right, guys, have a happy holidays. The ho We're almost there. We're almost home free. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons, for helping support the channel. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. And for those of you that like Card Fight Vanguard, Vancol40 is here for all your content needs. And those of you asking if I sell cards, mcoolgames.com for all your trading card game needs. Check the description for more interesting info. Thanks for watching, guys.